Françoise 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 She's never home. Oh, Anna. Matt! How are you today? Hi. Well, you're home early. What's going on? Can you open this? Can you open this for me? I sure. can't do it. Uh, here we go. Your wife saw the mess you made this morning. Yeah. Don't worry. I fixed it for you. So, where is she? She's never home now. Mrs. Rodin said that she had a late lunch and date, and then she didn't know when she was going to be home. She asked for lunch, huh? Eh? With her friends, we think I don't fit in with them, huh? Eh? Now, why would you say that? You're better than any of them. Snobs. You're a real person, Matthew. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're afraid of you. She's ashamed of me. Oh. But I don't care. Francois loves you, Matt. She's just, she's just spoiled. Besides, you'll come live with me. <laughs> I'll adopt you. I'll feed you homemade bread and jelly. You'll be fat like a pudding. Hmm? Anna, you're something. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I almost forgot. Mr. Sprengel called. How are you? Thank you, Quentin. Thank you. Did you take Francois to the doctor yesterday? Oh, please, dear. Let's not get into all that. We know you're trying very hard. But really, it can't be much fun, can it, for Francois to go from specialist to specialist? I mean, this is neither pleasure nor a game. <laughs> and, and those resource people, you know, I think they really just want to get up the skirt. Because they think, oh, a sterile woman, no risk. Practically no risk. Tell Francois to stop acting like a child. Mr. Springle, I would ask you to show more respect when you talk about my wife. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? John, calm down. Why don't we just have a talk, you know, like um, a family? No. Matt, I don't like the way you look at the situation, and I don't like your tone of voice either. But you're always asking me the same questions. Francoise is not pregnant, and it's not my fault. So change, change doctors. Go to some other specialist, for God's sakes. This has gone on far too long already. Hold on here. Isn't it a problem between myself and my wife? Matt, Matt, please don't be upset. You can understand, um, we simply want a grandchild. What about me? Don't you think the thought had crossed my mind? Do you really believe I don't want children? I believe that Francoise wants a child as much as you. So, we're adult enough to face reality. I want an heir. I have a right to know. Francoise and I will let you know if we ever have such luck. I'll be afraid that you will make her so nervous that she will have a miscarriage, completely blowing our chances. God. Matt, you know I never wanted you to marry my daughter in the first place, but I do not want this to end up as a total fiasco. No heir, no inheritance. You think I married your daughter for your money? Yes. But she's the one who insisted. 
I just wanted to wait, to think about it. Francoise has never had done. Patience is one of her virtues. <laughs> Too bad, pity. Yes, I know. I come from a small town. And you think I'm not good enough for her. The small town engineer marries the big time entrepreneur's daughter, huh? But remember, I put the whole company on its feet. Remember that? Matt, dear. The company is delighted to have you, in spite of all that. <laughs> I mean, after all, you're the one who saved us all our valuables. We would have lost them. We think of you as a hero, and as our savior. I was the savior, and now I become the black sheep of the family. Why? Oh, Mr. Riordan, please. Now it's Mr. Riordan. It used to be Matt. I'm not the one who is sterile. You're trying to blame me. But not such luck. It's your daughter, and that's what you can't seem to swallow. Don't be so damn impertinent. John, be still! Matt, let's not argue. It's really quite simple. We would just prefer to have a grandchild, I suppose, from our own blood. <laughs> I can't believe my ears. That your blue blood mentality make me... Oh, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. What nerve. Oh, he'd never leave. It's not finished yet, or anything like that. Who's the mama? Yeah, she is so beautiful. <laughs> you haven't changed, brother. <laughs> You're still falling in love with your models, huh? Yeah. Do I know her? No, not this one. <laughs> the school center rover. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, nice to see you in good shape. So, how are you doing? Pretty good. So oh, you're uh, fighting with your wife again? It's very simple. If we don't have a child, we'll be disinherited. Now, what's it got to do with money? That's what I'm trying to explain to Francoise. <laughs> and she's not buying. You've got it. Well, she's wrong this time. Yeah, but she doesn't want to admit it. She's still arrogant. She doesn't want to admit that she can't have children. What about you? What about me? <laughs> I'm waiting for test results. Apparently, there is a new method out there. I hope there will be good news. Hey, it'll work out this time. A little kid will hang in there. You know, I guess it's none of my business, but I wouldn't mind having a couple little kids running around. Yeah, I would like them to break some trickings around the house, too. <laughs> You see the face of Francoise? <laughs> you know, I always love children. Yeah. And my house feels so empty without them. Hey, wait a minute. Are you bored or what? Isn't your wife enough for you? I'm not sure of anything anymore. It's true, Francoise is too capricious sometimes. Something's gonna break. You know what I feel? I feel like I have to send her a telegram to arrange a moment to make love to her. It's crazy. Look, there is uh, another way to go. It's a radical solution. What? Hey, I love you too much to jerk you around. No. Now, I saved this article for you. Um, turn it someplace. Um, it's, uh, you have to be careful, but this is it. It's guaranteed, 100% guaranteed. This. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. 
Ya está. The king has finally granted us with his presence. It really would have been nice if you had called to let me know where you were last night. I didn't sleep at all. Where were you? My brother's house. So how is he? How is he? Oh, in quite shape. <laughs> I said I got a call from Dr. Rosenberg! So? Negative. The tests were negative. I'm never gonna have a baby. God. What have I done to deserve that? Tell me. What have I done? Maybe my brother has found a solution. What solution could your brother possibly come up with? Exchanging me for another wife, maybe? Don't be ridiculous. There was never a question of divorce. But for once in your life, there is something that you can have, that you can buy. You son of a bitch. Stop thinking on me of yourself. Of myself? Who am I supposed to think of, huh? Do you know how guilty and inadequate I feel? Could you possibly understand, Mr. Insensitivity? There is a solution to our problem. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. I repeat, you risk nothing. Biologically, the child won't be yours. But according to the law, it will be yours. Our child will come from a mother we don't even know? The donor. The what? The donor. About nine months later, you're a happy mother. And the real mother never... No. He never touches the donor. I see. I'm gonna have to talk to my father about this. Francoise, can we once make a decision for ourselves? The two of us? This child will be ours, not his. All right. I'm listening. As soon as the donor is pregnant, you play the role of a pregnant wife. In four or five months, we'll go on a trip. And in nine months, we come back with our new baby. Everyone will presume that you've given birth overseas, including your family. I suppose it could be done. I think I could pull that off. But I don't understand why this can't be done inside the country. Simply because our beloved country authorizes the mother to keep the baby for six months. After six months, the mother can decide to keep the child and refund the advance payment. There's too much of a risk. This is why we must go to a country which has no such law. She knows nothing about us. We know nothing about her. Precisely. Well, what are we waiting for, gentlemen? I think I'll be a wonderful mother. Sure.
this. The line is crystallizing. Ah, just leave it alone. It will be all right. Keith, watch the pressure gauge. Give the KRAS to come up. Just keep them turning at the same speed. I've got over a thousand tons of gravel in. But we don't want to risk an explosion. I don't care about that. All I want is that the gravel goes through, okay? Yeah, but it's our ass if this blows. Yes, it's more like wind. Jeez, Matt, we want to help, but telephone. Can't you see I'm busy? They say it's very important. Ah, uh, give me that. Hello. Oh, doctor? My partner is waiting for you. How will I recognize him? He's at the corner of the junkyard. Gray hair, black jacket. Yeah. Yeah, I see him. Hi, doctor. How are you? How is your wife? She's all right. Thank you. I heard the news from the substitute. What? The tests are positive. Positive? You mean I'm a father, man? <laughs> yes! Oh, 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 you've got to be discreet. You're right. I'll be discreet. Keep this news to yourself. Then in three months, you can go to Switzerland or any place in the world, not in America. Your wife, she's okay? Sure. Francois has a green anyway. But your wife, she will... Uh... She'll play the part. Francois can never admit defeat. Welcome. Yeah. Hi, Mats. Your brother is yeah. here. Yeah. All right. Oh. Welcome. How are you? Nice to see you. See you. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hello, Michael. Welcome. Thanks. How are you? Good. You? All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Go on. Go on our drink. Okay. Yeah. Well, great idea. Why? It's coca. Yeah. A whole town turned out. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. All right. Oh, thank you. You see today. Well, tonight's the night. Yeah. All right. I'm a little nervous. You'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm going to go work the room. Okay. Oh, Mike, you're here. Yeah, she's ready. Yeah. It's time now, Francoise. This is crucial. I know what I'm doing. Believe me. Just watch this. Okay, it's okay. Quiet, please. My friends, I think it's time for me to announce that my wife, Francoise, is expecting a baby. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. You too. Thank you. Mm. Hi, Michael. Hey, how you doing? I'm well. Don't you want me as a model anymore? Well, sure. I, you know, just uh, I've been doing something for the studios, and they've been real busy. So, you'll give me a call sometime? Yeah, I'll give you a call. You sure you have the number? Oh yeah, I got your number. See ya. Okay. I'll be back in a few minutes. Where are you going? I need to breathe, to relax. You can't leave me here alone with all these people. I've told you. I have to get out. Matt, yeah, don't go. I'm sorry. Don't do this to me. What's going on with your brother? Don't ask me. He's on his own.
Where are you? Who are you? You're not just any woman. You're the mother of my child. Are you petite, plum, or brunette? Maybe you are a concierge or a fish seller at the market. You could be... No, no. You couldn't be my wife, that's for sure. <laughs> but you are somewhere out there, in another part of the world, carrying my baby. I haven't made love to you, but you're carrying my child. And Françoise is the mother. It's making me nuts just thinking about it. Here you are, Miss... Miss Clement. Bridget, honey, go back to sleep. After last night? Let's see. <laughs> what time is it? Seven o'clock. What's going on? I don't know. The wife? No, the other one. The other one? Oh, huh. this is uh, Bridget. Uh, Bridget, this is my brother, Matt. Nice to meet you. Good looking brother. Very good looking. <laughs> Listen to you. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> Go on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you realize that I know nothing about her? Well, you just have to keep a straight face when they show you the baby. Uh, come on. See? So, what? I'm going to see her. Are you nuts? He'll blow the whole thing. You don't understand. My child, my baby, will have her blood, her flesh. No. I need to see her. I won't say anything. I'll be too ashamed. Hey, look, if she's doing this, she's got her own reasons for it. <laughs> yeah. You know, you really have your, got yourself into a real kinky situation here. I mean, a drama. <laughs> well, look at it this way. I didn't know she hasn't got a dozen kids. And what's one more, one less? And if the new kid feeds the other 11, well, you're doing a good deed. You don't have to be guilty about it. This is serious, Mike. And, uh, you're just determined. I know I can't talk you out of it. Okay, so I'll call Francoise and uh, tell her you left for the day. Three days. Even with the Concorde, it's a three-day trip. So the Concorde? Yeah, she somewhere on the Mediterranean island. What? Yeah, but don't worry, I have the address, I mean. Oh, <laughs> you got the address, sure. Okay, that takes care of everything. Yeah, but not the word to Francoise. You got it? You just asked me to call her. About the donor. Francoise doesn't know that you know, so keep it quiet. What about her father? Does he know about it? No, he will blow his top. By the way, 
She's very pretty. Hey, wait till you see her. It's not the donor I'm talking about. It's your model on your couch. Oh, Bridget. Yeah. <laughs> There's something I try to understand. You've got to explain to me. I wonder how you can paint them naked when they hide under the covers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're, you're interrupting a very hectic schedule. What? Francois pregnant? Are you sure? You're certain? I'm a grandmother. Oh, did you hear me? Oh, you darling! From there! <laughs> Change my schedule, cancel everything. Oh, thank you so much. You're so thoughtful, Quentin, or Proctor, whatever your name is. Of course I'm going to meet. I must get her everything, everything. Crib. Um, what, what are those little shaker, antiques, or... No, no, wicker, wicker, a white wicker, and, 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 and a christening gown. Oh, Adele. Yes, Adele in Westwood. Adele in Westwood. She makes her own design. And, um, and I can remember. Let's go, please, hurry. Thank you. Mr. Riordan? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Riordan. We were waiting for you. Yeah, you contracted. I should have called first. You might not even be there. No. That would not have been good. <laughs> what would I have said anyway? Maybe, maybe you have a husband. Yeah, why not? No, no, the doctor said you lived alone. <sighs> you are beautiful though, at least in your picture. Healthy and strong. <laughs> but what would I... What would I say to you? I should have thought about this a little more before coming. Well, it's too late now. Hi, how are you? Hi. You looking for someone? A woman, actually. Miss Clement. Sylvia Clement. Sylvia? Yeah. You know her? Yeah. She's down there. On that 16-footer. Be careful. She's in a bad mood. Okay. Thank you. Hi. See if you're around? Yes. She's here. Would you please get out of my way? Can't you see I'm soldering? You want to get burned or what? Hey, we told you she was in a rotten mood. No. You looking for me? Yeah, 
but I can come back another time. I understand it's maybe not a good day for you. It's been a few days now that it hasn't been her day. That's a woman for you. The flame. What about the flame? Way too red. Not enough blue. You've got a bad connection. One of the bottles may be too old. You cannot wail with this. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Even for carving, you can use touch power in half. So? Okay, let me show you. It was a tube fastening. Poor leak and poor combustion. You know, you could have run up with all your friends. So next time, be careful. I thought you, you looked like a nice guy. Let's have a coffee together. I'm the one that's serving the coffee, and it will be with pleasure. Thanks. That's some real good coffee. Good and rustic. I only like rustic. <gasps> Shit, I almost forgot. The kids are leaving in 10 minutes. Gino, I'm taking your motorcycle. Sure, babe. But careful of the back brake. It sticks a little. I'll take you. OK, guys, see you later. And you, sweet talker, let's get going. Well, I have to take care of the little monster. I've got for another two hours. If you want, I can show you the hotel after all. Why not? It looks like paradise here. It is. Well, see you later. OK, see you later. <laughs> another turn. Who is that little pretty girl? She's my daughter. I think kids are the most beautiful people in the whole world. I know. They're my weakness, too. And they know it. I love children. Diane. What about her? Nothing. It's just that I was forced to accept a heavy business offer. Otherwise, I was afraid of losing her. I just want to give her the life she deserves. But why did you accept this offer? What is the money for? Is it to run away? But what if you take my child with you? No, we made a deal. And you owe me, huh? But now I sound like my wife, thinking money can buy everything. Sylvia, why did I lie to you? I'm ashamed. Sylvia, 
I'm the guilty one. But how do I tell you? You'll be furious. I should have told you right from the start. But now? And when? <sighs> okay, I will wait. Just as you said, today is too beautiful to upset you. And then there is Francoise. Oh, damn. Damn it all. you? Where are you? No, no. No, Francois's not here right now. Matthew? Matthew? <laughs> Would you mind taking a picture of us? Okay, the move. You see that woman? That's my wife. And my daughter is at the daycare center. So... Too bad. That's just all luck. We thought we'd finally found a gold looking. I'm sorry. Yes, the doctor made the right choice of the donor. But would she accept to give me my child? They were pretty girls, huh? And hungry, too. It's a good thing they ate up my story. What did you tell them? Uh, just uh, that you were my wife and Jan was my daughter. Not bad. And your real wife is here? No, no. But what about you? Who is Jan's father? Sergio? <laughs> oh, no. Sergio is a friend, a good friend. He's helping me to put my boat together so I can sail free anywhere I want with my little princess. So, but with, with the other man. What other man? Yeah, Jen's father. He'll never find us. The son of a bitch can die for all I care. I'm sorry, but it's a subject I do not want to talk about it. It's such a beautiful day. See you later. See you later. <laughs> is your husband? Oh, I'm What's sorry. that? Is what you... are you doing here? You are late. Yeah, I'm late, but uh, I think you. Oh, no, just you... his friends of mine. Yeah, your friend. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm back. Sylvia, I. You look sad. No, just thinking. Anyway, what did you want to tell me? Sylvia, I, I... I forgot. I'm very happy to have met you. I really would like to see you again. Don't wait too long. As soon as my boat floats, I'm off in the direction of the wind. Goodbye. Bye. Hello, we are in residence. Hi, it's you, Anna. Uh, may I talk to Francoise, please? She's not here. I'm back in my office now. Where the hell have you been? No, no, I don't have time now. I will explain to you later. Okay, bye-bye.
Okay, bye-bye. Matt, I have a ton of oh, papers for then. you. Um, yes? Did you speak with Gordon yet? Uh, not yet. I Why? think you should. He was saying that there was some problem with plant number two. Oh, yeah? Um, I would call him. Don't worry. I balanced all the aging accounts, especially JR Enterprises. They just hit 90 days. Yes. So I think they better start hearing from you. Oh. Ah, uh, here she is. OK. okay. See you later. Hi, Brenda. You wouldn't believe how much trouble we're in. What are you talking about? Did you forget yesterday's meeting? No, I was away. That's all. I'm back now, OK? Great. Okay. What in the world is all this? They came while you were gone. Oh, and? Yeah. That one's from your father-in-law. Matt, did you forget that Francois was pregnant? No. How could I forget? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah? back your jacket. Figured maybe you'd need it someday. Thanks. Sure. If forgets his wife, why should he remember his jacket? Huh? I could just see him one day. I know, there is something missing. Ah, oh, it is my wife. I knew I forgot something. Ha. See, the air is full of uh, joy and good humor. <laughs> maybe I'll come back another time after the ice melts. No, stay. Well... <laughs> Maybe he's in the middle of the jungle. <laughs> She's very angry because I left for three days for work and I didn't call. You guys are uh, a lot of fun. Mike, you're something. You, you could have explained to her. Hey, I was preaching in the desert. One-way conversation. Hey, you know your wife better than I do. You going someplace? Yeah, take a shower. Are you going to be back? Maybe in a week. Okay, so he's not in the greatest possible mood. But he is here. Yeah. Huh. Look, you gotta make some allowances for him. You know, he's my little brother. He's a little stiff, you know? Walks kind of straight, wears the suits and everything, you know? One of you is into things. <laughs> uh, like a Playboy centerfold, you know, he folds in three places. Got a staple in his navel. <laughs> but, you know, he's got such a big heart. You had a little patience with him. You know, with your feminine wiles, you could turn him right into that Big teddy bear you love so much. I left you precise instruction. It's not my fault if the battery seven did work. It's Mr. Springle. First he was trying to get a hold of you, then he decided not to run seven, to let it shut down on its own. He's the boss. You start shouting orders that don't make any sense. Speak of the devil. Here he comes now. Stay here. I'm gonna talk to him. What is it? The pink party or what? We're trying to what? find a solution here. The battery seven is totally jammed. If we can't get the top of the line, we'll have to break it. And you know how much it's gonna cost? It's happened before and the insurance paid. That was an accident, not by command. What are you talking about? Are you trying to insinuate that I'm responsible? To an extent, yes. Don't you ever, ever do that again. Do you understand me? Not in front of the men. Hey, give me a break here. Everybody here knows that what happened is your fault. And you never stop a two battery field with lime. In my days, the workers didn't argue. The boss was the boss, period. Oh, yes? Stay here. How things are going to be? The only thing I can do is to give up my place. One more word, just one. 
and I'm gone, and I leave you with all your problems. Matthew, Matthew! Wait a minute. Look, you're my son-in-law, okay? Anybody can make a mistake, I understand that. Now, we tried our best to try and contact you. So you're a bit responsible yourself, you know. I mean, you took off for three days without a word. I mean, th th that kind of surprised us. Yeah, I see. Someone around here needs me. I'm the dear son-in-law. That must stick in your throat sometimes. But your interest must go before your sentiments. Not at all. Actually, Francois only came over the house this morning. And in fact, she, she told me, well, she mentioned that you may have found some very huge possibilities in Eastern Europe. She's right. In Eastern Europe, there is raw material much less expensive than here, and in enormous quantities. I'll probably be heading back soon for your information. It's fine with me. I'm all for it. You sure took long enough. Yeah, well, there was a bunch of fantastic-looking girls in the supermarket. You should have seen them. They uh, must have been Germans. I showed them how to get here. You never know. Let's hurry up and eat before they come. I know you. You'll give them everything we have. Next time, I'm coming with you. And what about me? Where do I fit in here? We will find you a squeezy. You know, a nice man. Come on, you'll make me blush. Oh, uh, speaking of men, what happened to the American? Uh, have you had any news? No. Too bad. He promised to stop by again. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. What have I got myself into? Cheers to the squeeze. To the heads of the squeezes. <laughs> and the squeezed. Mike, right. you can't paint about anything, right? Well, I guess so. Oh, I get it. You just can't stop thinking about her, can you? Is she that beautiful? More than that. I see. Look. You have family. Which one? The mother? The real one? Oh. Look. You got everything here. You got a beautiful house. You got a great job. Gorgeous wife. Okay, so she's a little capricious. But we live in the 20th century. You gotta accept women with their faults, just like they gotta accept us with our faults. You can't just throw it all away. For, for someone I barely know. So, what will you do in my place? What do you want me to say? Now you see what I mean. Look, I don't know what's in your head. All I can tell you is live your life. Make the most of it. I'll always be here for you. I know. That's enough. Elise, hurry up. See you soon. Bye. Give me that. Go, go, go. Ciao. Hi. I went by the dockyard, and I saw that you both were still there. I promised I would come back. How are you? I'm fine. Very fine. Is Sergio told you? Every Wednesday, we have a show. 
And after the show, it's um. It's for the grown-ups. Uh huh. So you're a dancer too. I'm part of the troupe. Go until you see the show. You know you're gonna make me jealous of the troupe. <laughs> Go, you'll see. <laughs> Sylvia, you carry your child without saying a word. But it's my child. It's our child. Okay, you are the mother, but I'm the father too. We have to talk. Sylvia, you've got to listen to me. This time, I will tell you the truth. But how? How can I explain that to you? I'm really, I'm really ashamed. It's not that easy. What would you say in my place? Sylvia, why do you have to be so beautiful? Françoise is beautiful too, but she's cold and sophisticated and critical. Sylvia, you are simple, you are lively, you are so natural. I'm not used to this kind of life. You don't like it? Oh, yes. On the contrary. I love it. <laughs> I think you're just wonderful. You completely convinced me. That real life, I miss out. Maybe it's not too late, is it? No. I have other obligations right now. I've got to be going. I'm the vice president of a large enterprise, you know? For the moment, you're here. Yeah. Gotta be crazy to leave a place like this. Sure. And your little girl must... Sorry. I can help myself. When it's sincere, you've got to do it. I gotta go. I got a plane to catch. You don't have to explain yourself. You know where I am. Diane really likes you, you know. Oh, yeah? Do you have kids? No. You don't like them? Oh, I love them. I wanted to tell you. Oh, my God, 5 a.m. But Diane has school tomorrow, and Nicola... Nicola's supposed to sleep on the boat. Matt, I've got to take care of the little ones. Bye. Ah, 
Matthew, you're back. How was the dinner? Oh, they always talk about the baby. Oh, don't worry. You will have a baby. Yeah, oh, Francois sure. called. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she said that she would be back in maybe half an hour. All right. Thank you. Well, Good Matthew, night, now don't, don't run away. She promised. <sighs> okay. Good night. Why am I here again? But Francois, it's your fault. You're never home. Sylvia. Yes, Sylvia, don't you forget. I'm the responsible. I have to protect you. Anything can happen to our child. Sylvia, I am so far from you. I want to be so close. I miss you, Sylvia. How to explain this to my brother? He'll think I'm crazy. Huh. You never cease to surprise me. How's it going? Fine. And Francoise? <laughs> Francoise is still Francoise. Did you tell her? No. She thinks I go over there for the New Deal. You know, for the raw material. Huh. And of course you uh, blew it all off. You know, with a couple of phone calls and a meeting at the airport, you can't justify about anything. <laughs> sure. <sighs> but doesn't it go much deeper than that? No, of course not. She's got you whipped. It's very simple. I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> well, what about the uh, story about the donor? Does she know that it's your child she's carrying? No. And that's driving me nuts. I mean, how can I tell her? I'm too ashamed. And if I tell her the truth, she will hate me. But, boy, she is... She is so fantastic. I mean. <laughs> You're in love. Me? No, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm in love. You've got to talk to your wife. It's not that easy with the other one, the donor. I don't know her. She could slip through my fingers and just uh, disappear just like that. The whole story is completely crazy. Stop torturing yourself. Talk to Francoise. She, she'll never let you go, you know that. Make an attempt to talk to her. Okay. Françoise? 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 Oh, you remembered my name. Great. Maybe you can remember where you've been for the past three days. Where the hell have you been? Let me tell you something. You're asking me? Since when have you asked me about anything lately? You've just done as you pleased. Well, I've got news for you from now on. You're going to tell me everything. I'm going to know where you go, what you do, who you're with. In fact, give me your passport. I beg your pardon? You heard me. Do you mind writing all that down for me? 
I'm sure I can make a bestseller out of it. I said, give me your passport. Don't. Oh, that's a real man for you. What did I make a mistake in choosing a husband? You know, one word from my father and you're out the door. I don't care. Do whatever you want. You don't love me anymore. Francois, sure I still love you. It's just that you think I should adapt to your lifestyle without any compensation on your part. It doesn't work that way. I don't want the life that you want to give me. What can you give me? The life of a salesman in rags? I don't think so. I don't understand why you pushed away everything I've given you. You know, there's a lot of people out there who'd be very happy to have a fraction of what you have. Oh, yeah, the weak ones would accept to live in a prison with golden bars. But it's still a prison. It's not for me. No, I only ask you to be more natural, to, to live more modestly, more simply, just to be more down to earth. That's all. Never. That's what I'm afraid of. You know, honey, I think you're just a little stressed out. You need time to relax. Have a massage. Think about it, okay? Somebody there? Come on, wake up! Oh, hi. Hi. Coffee, sir. Hey. Oh, nice to see you again, stranger. Oh, cool. Coffee's on the burner? Yeah, let's go. Hi, guys. Hurry up. Yeah. Hi. 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 Yes. I always take milk and my coffee. So you ready up? You're incredible, Matt. You appear, then you disappear. But I am still in your thoughts, am I? You bet. <laughs> what a sweet talker in the morning. Is it habit or instinct? Ah. Uh... What is it today? You stay for a while? Yeah, I'm staying. I've got a construction entrepreneur to see. Nearby? Yes. You know, we're selling our semen all over the world. Ah, if it's like that. I'll come with you. I've got to meet them over there. Are you coming with me? No, I'll let you work. Nice to see you, gentlemen. Why don't we start from the beginning? We got to act fast. If not, the green school make problems for us. As the wary man you are, you know how to take precautions. I certainly wouldn't dare interfere with your business. And perhaps you will, you will be interesting for our beautiful project, for financing and for everything. That's not what was planned. 
I was supposed to deliver the cement for your bungalow. But now maybe it's possible. It will help us. We will need the financial assistance. I thought you told me that everyone in the area has already agreed. And the ruins, the heritage of your past. What do you want to do with them? Sylvia, are you coming with us? Excuse me. So you're really going to build here? It looks like it. But don't you have any respect for the environment? I love nature and I protect it. So why do you want to change everything? It's beautiful just as it is. But Sylvia, it's civilization. You and I are the same. We're part of it. It's civilization and progress goes with it. We've got to protect the natural beauty. Yes, but if I don't do it, somebody else will do it, and the ruins will be destroyed. I'm responsible for thousands of homes, millions of people, and I work for the best interest. You'll see, the hotel will be sensational. And you know, you know, I wanted to tell you, since a long time, I love you. That's it, that's it, I said it. Sylvia, I... Sylvia? Sylvia? Me. Open your eyes. Take a look at where we are. <laughs> I was kidding. You are vulnerable and oversensitive, Matt. <laughs> I assure you, you are mistaken. You're so spontaneous, so creative, so alive. But I've got a few things to tell you, to explain to you. Not today. But. It's important. The more important thing is that we stay together. The rest can wait. But you've got to know who I am, why I'm here. Don't talk anymore. I love you too, Matt. That's all that counts. I have many things to tell you, too. But I don't want to spoil anything. We'll soon know what we have to do. Let's go.
It was so hard to say goodbye to you, Sylvia. Why do I have to leave you? Why do I always have to run after schedules? Hi. Jan asked me for a ball, so I could not leave without keeping my promise. And there is another reason why I stayed. I would like to finish what we started. Oh, Matt. This is really how I'd love to spend the rest of my life. You know, all good things come to an end. Unfortunately, reality sneaks back up on you. No, there's no reason to think about that now. Matt, try for once to savor the moment. You're here, you love me, that's all that counts. I don't care about the rest. I've been so happy. Don't spoil it with problems in your head. I've got problems too. That's why I had to accept an agreement. It's for a lot of money. Enough to set me and my daughter free. I feel very lucky. You know, Sylvia, I, you know, with this agreement, I could help you out. It's natural, I mean, I really could help you out. Don't you trust me? You've got to trust me too. Sylvia, I love you. And all I want is to live with you. You and you little princess. This is all getting pretty complicated. And you're playing right along with the game. Why did you really talk to her? No, she never gives me the chance. I mean, I'm afraid of, of losing her. I'm, I know she loves me, but she never talks about me going with her. All she wants is to escape with her daughter. That's all. No turning back. Maybe later. You can't let yourself get screwed up on a maybe. Now you understand why I didn't stay. It's a decision that could change the rest of my life. Once she said, people shouldn't meddle with important things or they can risk to lose everything. Well, I'll say one thing. This Sylvie of yours seems like a Wise lady, I admire her philosophy. You should listen to her advice. You think so? <laughs> well, it sounds like you're happier with her than you are with... Francoise. 
You really gotta get this whole thing straightened out. But it, if you love this girl, if you really love her, tell her the truth. Tell her everything. You'll feel much better about it afterward. But whatever you decide, I'm with you all the way. Even if you have to start your life over in another place, follow your instinct. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Rodian, but it's your wife. But it's your wife. Uh, yeah, I couldn't catch him. He's already left. Um. Would you like to leave a message? Well, I don't want to come in with us this year. You know, I mean, last year, all she ever did was worry about what to buy at Maui. Oh, why is it so difficult? Well, she goes off by herself. Why is this so difficult? Thank you, Quinn. Good evening. Oh, well, look who's here. Matt, I'm glad to see you. Oh, you're Got some good color on the Mediterranean. Oh, I was wondering when you were going to see you. <sighs> You know, we had a long chat with Francois while you were gone, and uh, we made a decision that I hope that you'll be happy with. Tell me what it is. I've decided to make you president. President? Well, that's wonderful. Well, it's about time for me to retire. Therefore, your job will be much more extensive. I'm going to give you all the company's responsibilities, including control of the interest and shares of the stock. And, and of course, you'll, uh, you'll be in charge of all the uh, meetings and, and the um, cocktail parties, the latter of which I'd be very flattered to help you with indeed. So you see, you'll not only have the best position in the company, but you'll better your position in society itself. Please. When am I going to have time to bring up my child? Or have you forgotten? Oh, <laughs> of course not. Oh, you'll have no worries at all. In fact, I've been discussing this with John, haven't we, John? And you see, you're going to be a busy man. You're going to be a very, very busy man, and you haven't time for the frivolities of life. And so we, um, we are going to take care of the child. That's right. I guess you're wondering why us. Well, um, it's simply because uh, you need more time to take care of all your responsibilities. Now, Matt, um, you were brought up in a uh, different fashion from uh, Francois completely. I mean, your childhood was not exactly, uh, well, <laughs> regardless. All you have to do is run the factories and we'll take care of every detail of your child's education. Oh, we'll choose the very, very best schools and we'll nurture him along all the way and we'll, we'll get the best jobs and future for him. And <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're trying to tell me that I will no longer have any time for my baby? Huh? Oh, of course not. Why, and when they bring the boy to you, why, it'll be under the very best of circumstances, and, and you can take him in your arms as if he's... And Francoise agrees with all this? Well, I would think she's taking quite a responsibility. Whatever you decide, I'm with you all. Even if you have to start your life over in another place, follow your instinct. All right. Excuse me, I have a very important phone call to make. Matt, Matt, don't overdo it. It can wait. No, it can't wait. It's vital. And you've just told me I have to make more decisions and take care of my future child and its mother. That's the idea. And now. <laughs> 
And you're gonna make a very good daddy. Yes, a very good one. For once we all agree. Are you gonna spread the news now? Exactly. Good night. Good night, Nat. Hello? Sylvia? Yeah, it's me, Matt. How are you? Yeah, I miss you. But listen carefully. I'll be on your boat before you wake up tomorrow. And I won't take no for an answer, all right? Okay, I love you. Sergio, you have two minutes to bring me a bottle of champagne. Huh? You should have already been back by now. Good news, huh? It's, it's more than good news. It's a dream come true. Careful, don't dream too big. You never know what can happen. Simply, just love. Wow! No! We are really flying, huh? <laughs> Sophie, I've got to go for a while. Matt is coming, and I want to be ready. Hi, Sylvia. Hi. I need to talk with you. Okay, I'm going to call you tomorrow. Goodbye. Please, take a seat. He's on his way. I don't have time to find a clinic. I know you've done it before. It was a success, wasn't it? I don't have the right. I'm going to be sworn in. Patrick. Patrick, you're my friend. We're alone. No one will know. I love him too much. I can't tell him I love him if I'm carrying someone else's child inside me. I don't want this child anymore. I can't do this to him. He's prepared to give up everything he has. I just can't lie to him anymore. Tell him the truth. He may leave me. Listen, I'll give back the money, and you help me to make... An abortion. Yes. Are you ready? Yes.
Why? Gina, she faints! Oh, shit! Hi, my little girl. Where's your mommy? What are you talking about? It's serious? I mean, I don't think so. But she was unconscious. We thought it right to take her right away. If you want, I could take you there. Sure. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Let's go. She had an abortion, you know. A very bad one. There is no treatment on that island. What are you telling me? An abortion? But... So... The child is... Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. You know, she gets this abortion because she didn't know where the father is. All that she needs, it's somebody who can give her some warmth. Yes. Sure. I'm in her family. I'll take care of her. Well, you just have to help her to come back to your life. You know, all that matters if she be all right. She be all right? Well, I hope so, but you never know. But, please, she must never know that you told me. Please. She must never know that you told me. Of course not. She's waking up now. Give her five minutes. But please, don't tire her. Give her five minutes, okay? I'm so happy to see you. You know, the agreement I told you about, it's over. I'm free. I'm free now. I'm free too. I, I love you. I love you too, Matt. My heart is beating so hard. Listen. Sylvia? Sylvia? Doctor! Doctor! Doctor, come on, help! Doctor! She's fine. Nothing to worry. She's just too tired. It can happen, you know. Well, she's perfectly all right. You scared me. And now, and now you're going to listen to me. For the rest of my life, 